It's supposed to be a moment What good is being the one When you the only one that knows it Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, man. Make sure y'all subscribe if you're new, man. I'm trying to hit that 258K expeditiously. 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 However, the hell you say it. Like the goddamn video. Help your boy get in the algorithm and click the bell, bot. Now, look, listen. Listen to me very closely. This is a very important video, okay? Very important. Nobody's gonna be speaking about this, bro. Especially bigger creators, bro. Listen, okay? Listen, listen, listen. Bro, low key, this My Player Builder is the same shit. It's the same shit. Look, look, look. It's the, it's the same type of attributes. It goes by a rating system. You upgrade the ratings, you get badges. It's the same shit. Basically, like the same takeovers, but just split. It's the same shit. Now you just, you use these points to upgrade your speed and stuff. It's, bro, there is just, it's just variations, my nigga. But it's the same Say it in the comments with me. Say it in the comments with me. It's the same shit. So, in a lot of my videos, I'm always like, man, this is a finesse. Why can't we transfer our my players, right? Now, wait, listen to this. I'm not no broke nigga, right? This ain't for me. This for the consumer. This for you, okay? I don't benefit in speaking about this, right? You know, when like why like me talking about stuff like this makes it so probably why i don't have a logo and i've been uploading off and on since 2k15 and i i've inspired most of your goddamn favorite youtubers they probably wouldn't even be here if i never uploaded videos my nigga you feel me with the whole iso wave but look and also it ain't nothing to spend some vc to make builds and do all this stuff and all that it's because guess what if you guys didn't know creators youtubers it's a tax write-off for me to even spend vc on the game it's a tax write-off you feel me so i'm uh, it's not like that for me i'm speaking up for y'all you feel me giving away vc tax write-off y'all don't even know that y'all be thinking niggas is out here super forgiving but it's a tax write-off but anywho on to my greater point bro they've already proved that they can transfer things okay they said they can do the vc they said they could do my team cards how is the my team card like being done right it's just being updated tweaked built into their variations bro just like i'm saying like like for instance here's a here's a beautiful concept y'all need to start pushing for this bro here's a beautiful concept right so say, you know how we can only choose one takeover and now it's like double takeover now. Why not just make it to where when you transfer builds, just make it to where like they pick double takeover, right? And then just have it just be like the first two on the list or whatever, if it's two or three and just, just let the builds transfer or let or apply the ratings and then nerf certain things that don't no longer fit in the system because low key in this system, it's looking like it's more limiting, but you can key in more. I don't think a lot of y'all really like thinking about it. I, I'm, I, I don't know, I'm, I might like this shit like a lot because this will mean like maybe a lot of y'all toxic ass bigs that ruin the game where you're your builds take no skill, the paint beasts, these 6-8 gods, these 6-8 point guards, these slashers, these inside centers that think like they're like, they, it just takes so much skill. Once y'all get nerfed to where you can't have the speed of a damn guard and a lock, 
and all those rebounding and defensive attributes while still being able to speed glitch, speed boost glitch, dunk and contact dunk on what is looking like they might try and key in like you're not going to be able to have them speeds and all that defense and all that finishing. I hope. I, I really hope they did that shit, bro, to really nerf the bigs, bro. But look, I'm saying, bro, it, it's just like. For instance, in NBA 2K17, I believe I believe it was, people did a glitch to where they hit 99 overall, like really quick. And then what they did was they nerfed, they, not nerfed, they brought everybody's my player down and like fucked up their stats. Like they, they showed they could do it. They did it in 17. Like, oh, man, I forget what it was. It was a glitch or something. And then what they had did was they took all my defense away and put it all on my inside. It was something, bro. And now I couldn't even use the player anymore. But now they could just adjust it to where, you know, everything could just get adjusted, bro. It, this should really happen. Cause what's that sound like y'all spent $200 on the game you bought the game spent all that VC etc and it can't transfer but it's the same thing I mean of course there's gonna be a lot of different things but low-key the the system is the same thing it's the it's the same thing bro you have badge counts you have attributes it's almost all the same attributes besides like it's the same thing the my player names is probably gonna be the same thing it's the same thing right don't y'all think it's the same thing it's the same thing you know it's just glossed up and marketed different so it just seems like something new and i don't know bro I think it's lame that we can't transfer our players and stuff like that. I don't know, bro. Here's the here's ways they could implement this, right? They could have it already auto adjusted, right? Like when it comes to the rating, the badges, what takeovers you're going to have, just you know, just have it adjusted, bro. It don't got to be the perfect player, but at least let us transfer some shit so we could go go straight and play, man. Or, you know, even even if this takes a couple months, right, even if it takes a month or some days or something, maybe, you know, give us options to where we can use all the VC that we use on that player on to next gen or, you know, just let us transfer it. And then on the differences of the game, let us tweak those things or just gift us um free my players to make based on what what we use in current gen i i don't know bro it's the <laughs> that's how i feel it should be bro because they're doing it with my team they're doing it with my team they keep saying like it's not pop it, it's possible bro if they're doing it with my team if they're doing it with vc how can it be done with my players i mean i've seen in 2k support they completely just give you builds and stuff like that and all that. I don't, I don't know, bro. I, I I think it should happen. Y'all let me know how y'all feel below about all this and what you think the perfect system could be for this to happen. And if you think it's possible, bro, like that whole that whole bullshit y'all be saying about, oh, it's, it's current gen and next gen. You can't transfer it look i just i showed you that they doing it with the vc and the my team niggas right so it's capable i don't care what y'all say about this then y'all say that y'all regurgitate y'all like really some brainwashed bots y'all regurgitate the, the same things that they say what what uh, what does ronnie always say it's it's just not possible remember we did this in 2k14 I don't know why this is such a big deal. We've done this before. And then what y'all say is the same thing. Use your head. Actually think about shit, bro. Like, y'all don't think that they would benefit, like, tremendously from, from, uh, 
players not transferring? What you mean, bro? That's like millions. <laughs> like it, it's a it's a big it's a big thing. Y'all got to think outside the box, man. So anywho, man, they dropped some ratings for next gen, man. We're gonna go over this. I'm gonna give y'all some IQ, bro, because one thing I know is basketball, bro. I'm very intricate in my thoughts, and it's very different, man. I'm not no sports center highlight watching baby, man. I have a, just a brilliant way of thinking, man. So y'all wanna get into the mind of the goddamn swan, and I'm gonna educate you little dumb motherfuckers. Y'all listening to these goddamn these little analysts y'all gotta understand they have an agenda y'all listening to these dumbass twitter niggas y'all gotta understand they have an agenda you know they're just they're just following the herd bro they're they're trying to you know fit in you know get likes shit like that man still king you know they rate, rate my nigga rate my nigga lebron like 90 98 okay that's cool that's cool i fuck with it my nigga guy he look godly you know, you know, I fuck with it. You know, I, I know he kind of lost some hair and shit, but they ain't showing that. They even got his stretch marks in this bitch. <laughs> uh, detail like shit. I think he. Okay, so look, Jimmy Butler deserves higher than a 93, bro. A hundred percent, bro. This nigga dropped 40 on goddamn LeBron, bro. And AD, like. What you mean? Like he's taking LeBron one-on-one. -on -one. Like like he he did this in the playoffs. He's taking someone that's bigger than him. He can't shoot. See, look, this is why I praise Westbrook so much. If someone can't shoot and they're still scoring on you and they're not a fucking Giannis, that's that's a skill in itself. Y'all view it as rim running. He ain't la la la. Y'all pray shooting too much. Y'all have to understand basketball, bro. If you can shoot and slash, it's harder for people to be able to predict you and guard you, bro. Is that that's exactly why screens are more meta than ISO. ISO's easier to key in on and stop in, in the game and in real life, bro. But look, he can't shoot that well, bro. He can't. Just, just, just what? Just like with Westbrook. Westbrook, he has a nice midi, very underrated midi and post scoring type of shit. It's very highly rated. He got like probably like the best like midi, one of the best midis in the game, bro. But you know, no one wants to realize that. But like when niggas know you can only go at the hoop, and you only could get real low and score type shit and you still score efficiently that's a skill bro that needs to be praised other than wait that needs to be praised just as much if not more than someone who can shoot and slash because they're predictable and he still do it that mean he really a dog bro and the reason i'm saying he 94 is because they rated other people higher than him that that can't can't cannot do what he's done jamal murray deserves higher than an 88 bro they gave paul george a goddamn let, 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 let let's see what paul george is they gave paul george a 88 bro they they gave paul george a 88 this nigga need to be a 84 below you know they gave Paul George a 88, man. This nigga don't deserve no damn 88. That nigga overrated, bruh. Niggas, niggas was blaming Westbrook for that, that playoff loss, but nah, it don't. No, that, that shit not. No, no. The, the, you know? It, with Westbrook, he was an MVP candidate. Nigga left, and now what is he? <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, Westbrook turned niggas into gods, nigga. But yeah, Murray, Murray played amazing in the playoffs he deserves higher than an 87 bro uh he deserves higher than paul george like come on bro what, what what's going on come on right do y'all think he deserve higher than paul george y'all let me know man Giannis 97 Giannis should be lower than a 97 bro to to be honest um a lot of players should be higher than him i don't care that he won mvp that he could play d um with that team and him there's no excuse to lose to uh 
Chicago, bro. I think him and Jimmy should be rated the same. I, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. When it really mattered and stuff, that's how I feel, my nigga. Like, dead ass. Or maybe, like, one rating. I, I don't think the gap should be that big because they, they faced off. They faced each other, bro. You know? The Heat, they, they ain't got a better team than, than the Bucks. Like, come on, man. Like, it's close, man. And it's all about star power after that. And I don't know, man. Um, They gave Luka a 94. Luka, cold player, you know? Westbrook. <laughs> West, if Westbrook was white, this is this nigga, right? Now everyone love him, but they hate Westbrook. Look, Luka, godlike, or Harden, if he was white, you know? Everyone hate Harden, but they love Luka. Floyd Mayweather. Everyone hate Floyd, he's black, but then they love Conor McGregor, he's white, but he's just, he's the same thing. Hey, you, you, you seeing where I'm going here? But uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, a little fool for thought, my nigga, but Jimmy's definitely should be higher rated than uh, Luca. What, what what Jimmy did was was tremendous. I don't, I don't think Luca could do those <laughs> in the playoffs, definitely. But, um, yeah, great player. Definitely deserves above 90s. I ain't really got opinions on these niggas. I definitely don't think Kemba deserves an 86. <laughs> the fuck? Y'all let me know what y'all think Kemba deserves. Trey Young. Uh, he, he deserves to be better, higher than uh, Paul George, bro. Deadass, bro. Paul George disappointed me so much. He made my nigga Kawhi look bad. Even though Kawhi played bad, too. But... You supposed to have a duo star, my nigga. He definitely deserved to be higher than Paul George. Harden, 96. Harden deserves to be higher than Giannis. 100%. 100%. 100%. So Giannis at 97. This nigga deserves to be... Giannis shouldn't even... He, You can't put Harden with LeBron, right? So he got to be lower than LeBron. So that means Giannis got to go down, my nigga. But this is still good praise, but... He got to be higher than that, okay? KD, 95. I feel it. You know, he's been injured. Um, Kyrie, 90. Um, I hear he's shooting terrible, but, like, nobody's talking about it. Uh, yeah. Stephen Clay, you know, 95. I feel it. But look, look, look. Here, here's what these niggas did. They put, they put... They gave motherfucking Lillard, bro, right? They gave Lillard the same rating as Curry and Kevin Durant. Now, look, I personally think Lillard is better, but it's not because of that. I think Lillard is better than Curry, but it's not because of his latest performance, right? I don't think you could, man, never mind. That, 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 that's okay. But anywho, Klay Thompson got robbed. I think he should be one rating below or the same rating as curry and every year niggas tremendously overrated i would say he impacts the game more than steph he can shoot just as good as him if not a little better and he plays way better defense and he he can he can drive and and finish with like dunking the ball and shit you know like he's a bigger force i don't know i believe Two-way players are better than one-dimensional players that are just offensive gods. But people overpraise. It's just like the MVP race for the NFL. It's always the QB. It's just like what people like. But I think two-way players are better than a one-way player. That's just me. But how people have been raised for basketball, they think they don't think that. Like you can say Clay's offense is just as good as. Steph's offense you literally can say that like you can say that bro it's not a crazy statement but a lot of y'all niggas are such dick eaters that you won't understand that but you can't say Steph's defense is anywhere close to Clay's so that proves my point that they're they should be rated the same bro Zeon 86 I know a lot of people were mad about that because he ain't even played um Lillard don't deserve no 95. He a cold nigga. He a he a goaded nigga, but he don't deserve no 95, bro. Negative record. Negative record. Negative record. 
Wouldn't have made the playoff if it wasn't for the bubble. And he quit on his team in the playoffs. Fake the injury, my nigga. Nah, bruh. I don't I don't give a fuck, nigga. No. You know when 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 Westbrook don't have niggas with teams, he 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 breaks records. Gets him to the playoffs and all that shit, bruh. You feel me? But, you know, it, it's not the same low. This nigga don't deserve no 95. Great player, amazing season. But he had a negative record. Niggas, niggas don't understand that shit, bruh. You can't be that cold if you have a negative record, bro. Dead ass. If you're so good, if you're so good, it would translate until you at least having a positive record. Or at least having like a, a better record, right? Like, it's it's funny, like people bash Harden and all this stuff for putting these numbers up and all this and all that, but they lose and and the, he's just bashed. Oh, he got his numbers, but they're worthless points. But they say the same thing about Westbrook and plenty of other players, but y'all just dick suck Lillard. I don't know, I think y'all find him attractive or something. Y'all dick suck Lillard. This nigga could put up crazy numbers in an L and niggas just suck his cock. I don't get it. It's not right. And um, right here, um, Prime Agent Zero, man, I believe he needs to be a 96 plus for the sole reason that they gave this nigga a 95. Prime Gilbert better than Lillard. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about all this. If um, I should make more rants for my second channel, about basketball y'all been begging me to do that but um yeah i'm out this whole bro y'all let me know how y'all feel about everything in the video man subscribe hit the like button and hit the bell man